Well, after a long two-year wait, one of my bucket list moths has finally emerged from its diapause slumber and graced me with its presence and beauty. Meet the Spanish moon moth, a relic species dating back to the Ice Ages and native to the high mountains of France and Spain. They are sometimes called the stained glass moth, as its beautiful wings have a see-through quality that is both ethereal and unusual. No other species has patterning and coloring quite like this one, and photos I had seen of the moth before experiencing it in person would lead you to believe it could not be. This particular moth is a female. Females have shorter hindwing tails than the males, so they are easy to identify. The Spanish moon moth is thought to be the ancestor of all Actias species of moth found today. You might be familiar with its close relative Actias luna, the green luna moth so beloved in North America. These moths are incredibly hard to raise and breed and are considered a difficult species for even the most experienced breeders, largely because their natural habitat in the Alps and Pyrenees Mountains has weather and atmospheric conditions that are difficult to replicate in captivity. Nevertheless, they are highly sought after for their delicate beauty. Notice the tufted scales that appear furry on the moth's abdomen and along the edges of the inner wings. And as I move up to take a look at one of the eyes on her wings, you can appreciate the intricacy of the eye itself, including the white center pupil to fool predators into thinking it is something actually much larger and not a good snack. And here's a little close up of her face and dark eyes. And you can see all the delicate little fringes on her yellow orange antenna. And here you can see her fuzzy abdomen with yellow stripes against burgundy tufted scales. So I hope you enjoyed this short visit with one of my all time favorite moths there are currently seven more of them yet to emerge, so I'm hoping for a male as it would be wonderful to raise more of these beauties. If you'd like to follow along, please subscribe so you'll never miss what's next to come. And as always, thanks for watching.